Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Talon. And I'm Steven. And welcome back to another video of uh, Airsoft Podcast. Corrupt Turnip. That's right. So we are here today and it's already, I, I can't believe it's already like the fourth week that we're doing this. Mm -hmm. um, so the last video turned out much better than the first one. Didn't get a whole lot of footage, but worked out a lot better. Yeah. So. We got a lot more... I want to say more creative, like it's it's starting to slowly unfold with the way that our videos are going to come out. Like the first one was obviously a rough patch. I mean, our first one's not going to be golden, but if you guys can just be patient with us, we will be getting better ones eventually. I will be getting my camera. It's, it's coming, but it's going to take a little bit. Okay, so we also have another guy who's going to be coming out and um, playing with us as well for airsoft, and he said himself that he's going to also get a camera. So we'll be having three different viewpoints eventually. So it won't yeah. be just stuck on the one person and Absolutely. always watching them and seeing sort of me on the side or our other buddy on the side. It'll it'll get to the point where you're going to start seeing clips of different viewpoints of all of us. So. Oh, yeah. We're excited for that. Um, so last uh, week we were playing uh, two games that we showed you on the GoPro. One game, the first one was Domination. So for those of you who play Call of Duty, I'm sure you kind of get the gist of how Domination works and I'm pretty sure it's probably the same way in any airsoft game that plays it. Um, so we're showing this clip here real quick, just kind of showing you a bit about how it works. So rules of um, engagement and domination are the same. Um, they had one hit, you're dead, unlimited respawns. Um, and when you die, you do go back to the respawn point. Um, each team has the respawn point on either side of the arena. But for this one, so how Domination worked in this arena is we had five um, separate flags. Each flag had a red and blue um, flag on it. I guess each flag pole had a red and blue flag pole on it. Excuse me. And um, that night we were playing uh, red versus yellow. We were on red team. So naturally we want the red flag flying um, for us to capture a flag point. The rest of the team, since they're yellow, there was a blue flag, they wanted blue. So, uh, the object obviously was to have as many as you can get. When the game ended after 15 minutes, whoever had the most won the game. Um, so, in this clip here, you can show us working on that. So, this is my point of view approaching one of the flags that has been taken by yellow. Had to actually eliminate an enemy player there and then successfully took that flag and I just love the part where he's shooting and the guy goes out and then he continues to shoot so he's like ah, 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 and it just keeps going up it's kind of fun I just yeah. I love that you can <laughs> faintly hear that in the background it's kind of fun that way how it works uh, and uh, so then that flag did remain um, I think we oh, held that, that one. Hole. That was the one that they kept trying to fight us yes. on. And we actually, it never changed. No, no we, they yeah. couldn't even touch it after that. Yes, I'm sure it will. I know we held it the remainder of the game because you told me it, first of all. And uh, and uh, secondly is I did end up catcher, capturing a second flag that was much closer to the enemy's respawn. But what was weird, um, if you watch the video from last week, is um, after I captured it, I was sitting there expecting enemy players to come in to try and get it again. I never saw a single one, and I believe it shortly after I captured it, the last flag um, was captured to red, and the refs ended the game just a couple minutes early because we... Oh, that's right. Yeah, we had totally, every single flag. Yeah. I forgot about that. I, I've never seen that before, a team taking no. every single flag and, on, and on to the be, field. And to be flat honest, like our intentions were to take all the flags, but we had we didn't have that much communication with each other. We really we didn't. didn't coordinate. We were just like, let's defend a flag. And then it went from being in this room right here where you see on this video, but then it turned out me and three other of my comrades went to another room and started just demolishing. In fact, I was struggling on this one section with one of the other guys there, we were just continuously shooting each other, yeah. going back and forth, picking that flag and, you know, getting it. Every time the other one was dead, we'd go and move it, and it was just... Yeah, yeah. I think I only died twice in that match, um, but then I only killed, like, I think one 
person the entire time. Yeah, because that was the one that you were, yeah, that was the one that you said afterwards that you were dead at. You were like, I really got no action. Yeah, I it was really, that. really strange. Like, even the area that I was in normally usually has heavy, heavy traffic on both sides, and I was the only one there. It was really bizarre. I was expecting tons of people to come around the corner any second. Didn't happen. So I sat there for like a good full minute and then the last flag was captured and they ended the game. So despite the fact that we had bad coordination for, from our whole it, team. That's what I'm saying. It was still, a solid game. Yeah, we it still dominated game. the whole game. It was literally. Wow. Um, yeah, it, but it was fun and then Unfortunately, we didn't get as much footage as we wanted to. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we had you use the GoPro in that other game that we have filmed. Mm -hmm. um, so in some of the times, that, that's another thing that we're going to also go over is that will clarify. Some of the times, until I get my own GoPro, there's going to be a couple of times where it's going to, instead of showing it on Talon's cam, it's going to be me taking his cam. It's going to be on me. Yeah. So like on this one, we actually got to experiment with it. And I did fairly great. I mean, yeah, it was pretty fun doing that. I wanted to do that anyways, but you know, I was feeling kind of sick that night and wanted to sit out one match. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of worked out that the match that I wanted to sit out in, you know, I was like, oh, I want, I want him to try the GoPro anyways, and so it just kind of worked out perfectly that it way. It did, and we, in fact, not to sound cocky, I mean, you guys weren't there, unfortunately, but we did dominate that game, too. I mean, my team, there was yes. four of us. It was We played squad, and there was four of us, and we actually went against uh, four other groups yes. of five, and there was one other group of four, and we just we took them all out. It was, it was awesome. Yeah, that was pretty neat to go back and view the footage and edit. So what's the next agenda for um, equipment for you other than the camera like yeah, cameras first right yes yeah, so and I'm going I'm working on the camera right now it's just I did get into a little bit of issue with money I got a speeding ticket so I gotta pay that bad boy off because I'm not making stupid money but I'm making money good job yeah <laughs> <laughs> so um, my next line of business is I um, just recently got a uh, gun bag for my rifle and I also got a, a grip. And what I'm going to be working on is right now he's letting me borrow his old vest because he just recently got his, he new got one. himself a yeah. new vest. So I'm actually going to be working on getting myself a brown. And I know a lot of you will say brown, especially in an enclosed area, isn't always the best one. You want to go for a certain type of camo or something. I don't know why I like brown. I'm not even going out there for the camo. Like, this has only been my second time playing. But this second time that I went out, I was probably one of the people who was legit running out there. Yeah. I was running all over the places came. I was prepared when I went out there. So honestly, camo is not an issue for me. I just, and I don't even like brown, but for some reason when I see myself, you know, playing this, I'm gonna go all brown. So my next one is a uh, brown vest. Um, let's see, I'm also gonna work on getting another um, camera we're gonna be working on to get a camera for our guns so that you can, you know, yeah. see better points of where we're aiming so it's not just you know you're looking at us and hearing the sound of our guns going off and just seeing crosshairs you'll actually see yes. the BB going and, and I think we we kind of uh, touched up on this on the last podcast so one issue with the GoPro is you do get that first person view but when we're aiming down our sights um, our heads tilt slightly when you're have your uh, gun up to your shoulder and so when you're looking at the camera view the angles tipped and you can totally see that in the in the um, the footage when you watch the, us play airsoft. So we definitely want to get uh, two different video cameras attached to the guns, getting a little bit better view for that purpose and uh, for other camera angles too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just we're excited because you know we went there the first time we went. We met some cool guys. They were really cool. Um, they couldn't make it out unfortunately to this last game. But then this last time that we went, we just instantly were like, hey man, you know, let's get some. Guys, let's get some groups together, and we found these two guys. They were really awesome. Shout out to them as well. Um, eventually, they'll be getting their cameras, and it's just I'm so excited yeah. when we finally do. We'll have more angles than just you know this one that we're doing. Yeah. So it's it's gonna be awesome. And don't worry about the brown clothes and stuff. I'll convert them eventually. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I already have planned, and I am a master manipulator, so don't worry about it. Yeah. Anyways. And then I'm getting a brown shirt, so manipulate that. <laughs> 
no problem. <laughs> I, I, I can get you to wear the most embarrassing underwear if I wanted, but I will. I'm not gonna do I that. I got no shame. <laughs> Okay, anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, good footage overall. Got a lot of good plans. I do want to do a podcast video where we talk just about camouflage because I've done a lot of really extensive studies on camo, and I think it's important to know what kind of camo to use because even if you, like, you don't realize how much camouflage actually influences the battlefield you don't understand just how much it helps you when you're wearing camo and how much it hinders you when the other guys wearing camo you don't realize it and I, I so I would like to explain a video about camo and how it works and how it's designed because the whole process is to trick your eyes process through the brain like your brain processes certain things that you see and the camo is designed to trick that with not just with color but with texture and patterns but well i'm starting to already get into that so we'll do one eventually that way and yeah because even whether you're outside or inside i've seen some guys go in there fully camoed and sometimes i'm just like whoa i like i had to take an extra second yes. to look at them like okay cool like, absolutely I mean, not dumb it's not it, it doesn't work at the greatest but it does work it's better than just going out there and solid shirt. It also depends pants. on what type of camo you're wearing in the yeah. environment and how much of it you're wearing. If just your vest was camo, the rest of you isn't. Like you're wearing jeans and a white shirt and then like it's it's gonna help but it's not gonna do a lot. Uh, the more camo the better. Okay so like here there was a lot of highlights and that's the part that really sucks about only having one camera because it's only been my second time but I'm, I'm honestly, I'm doing a very fair job at, you know, participating in this and playing in this game. Like, I, I've got my fair share of, of points in here, and it just, it kills me, and it's, I'm so happy that I got this, because there was one game that we played that we didn't get to film. I forgot what it was called. It was, you just, you grab the, um, the bat, the box, and you're supposed to hide it from the enemy yeah. and hold on to it until the end of the game. And, I mean, I was the one, I made it in my head that I was going to take that box, and I took it. And it was just, it was awesome. I took the box, and as I'm taking it, I've got my whole teammates just mowing down the guys behind me who were trying to shoot at me. And I'm, I'm running like a little schoolgirl, I'll admit that, but it was, it was just so it was pretty awesome. awesome and I wish I had that on camera, and it kills me that I didn't, but I'm glad that I got some footage that I did. Unfortunately, the GoPro wasn't um, working that well when we were shooting that. Um, yeah. But Steven got a pretty epic uh, thing right here, so I'm going to play this. This is a, oh my gosh, takes this tower and totally like decimates right here. Check this out. Shoots the guy in the hand twice. Kills that other guy. Third guy, totally just destroyed that Triple tower. tower takeover, that's what I'm calling it, triple T. Yeah. Cool. I have to say, that was really impressive that you just took out all three guys, take the tower all by yourself. And, it, and it's funny because you hear you hear it going tss, tss, and normally you always hear on it going tss, just the one time, but this guy, this kid, he stuck his hand out and was trying to blind fire. In, in that arena, they have a strict rule, you do not blind fire. Yes. And he did that to me earlier, and so I was like, I'm getting really tired of these guys blind firing. So, I mean, yeah, I'm not perfect at aiming. And it was my intentions, but I didn't think I would get it. But I shot him in the hand, and as he was going back, I shot him a second time. Yeah. So you see at the end, whenever I take over that tower, mm -hmm. he's just going like this yeah. to his hand because I destroyed well, him. you could tell that, like, you were just, like, double tapping it. Like, that's, yeah. that's just what you, I mean, you do that. Yeah. It's normal, yeah. but you double tapped and got his hand both times. So mm -hmm. it's And then nice. I went up, and so then I took it. So it wasn't like to be mean or anything. No. But, no, he but just I mean, I was the guy cheated and yeah. he got his hand, so even when you cheat, you still get hit. And I felt no mercy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. And it was nice because I, I went up there, like, I, at first I was going to start at an all sprint, but then I was like, there's another guy up there, so let's just get him. So I started moving up. He wasn't making his way. So then I finally saw him, shot him, and then I actually saw a third guy 
And I didn't know he was up there. I thought there was only two guys, but then I saw a third guy up there, so then I shot him down too. You're pretty lucky you got all three of them without getting I know. hit. I was surprised. I mean, I don't know why they, for some reason, they kept looking. My t Well, not some reason. My team at the time, my squad, was underneath the tower, so they were looking out the window directly down. So when they hit the rest of your team. Yeah, so uh, whenever, they, whenever I was coming up the steps, the one guy noticed me, and he turned, and that's when I shot him in the hand. And then I ran up and then got the one guy looking out the window and then the other guy was just turning around as I got hit too. And it was just, it was awesome. Because I'm sitting there yelling down at them, I'm like, guys, I got a triple kill, let's, let's get up here, let's get up here. Yep. And then I finally get down there and I'm just like, I'm like, guys, come on. And they're like, oh, that's you up there. And I'm like, yeah, I got him. Like, I yelled for you guys, I was excited. <laughs> it took him a second, but it was, it was awesome. That was one of my highlights that's that cool. I liked. Aside from stealing the box on the other game, yeah. that was my highlight. I was mad because in that there was a match where I killed six guys all at once, and I can't believe yep. that. That was actually a choice where I decided not to wear the GoPro, and that was a bad choice. Yeah, because normally when we first get there, the first two games we normally play are Team Deathmatch, and then it sort and of flexes not as from exciting. there. Yeah, and it's, that's, when they're, that's when everyone's starting to come. So when we go into the Team Deathmatch, the groups aren't really that big. It's normally around... Like right as the second one's going, or after the second one, that's when we yeah. finally know what our crowd's gonna look like the rest of the night. And just those two, the first one there was not that many people. The second one, people started coming, but there wasn't that many. And it was just it was it sucked because we we both played great on that second one. In fact, I played better on the first one than I did the second, but we didn't have the camera out, and so we were like, now we're gonna make a pack that every single time we get into the arena, that's the first thing we do is turn on that camera because we're not missing anything now because at first we were worried yeah. we weren't going to have that much footage because um he wasn't feeling too good and then we only got the one um this one clip of domination and then we got the one clip of uh of here taking over the tower on squad yeah it was just it was it was hard so some rough patches on the way and and it's not even really the camera's fault i don't think i think it was just us uh not doing a Good enough job hitting the record yeah. button, unfortunately. Like, because the the game where you had that box, the GoPro was turned on, but it was not recording. So I don't know if we forgot to hit record. If I pressed the button but didn't hit it hard enough. Yeah, uh, I think we were just too we, much into a rush. Yeah, we we need to make sure that it's on because when I'm wearing it and I turn on, I don't know if it's turned on. Um, I can't tell. So, you know. Um, so yeah, you need to look at it, make sure it's recording. Yeah. When you get your, when you have the camera, I need to do the same. Make sure it's recording when you're wearing it, and mm -hmm. or when we have our cameras and stuff. So we just, yeah, we need to do a little bit better than that. So <sighs> trial and error, I guess. Yeah, trial we're learning. And error. I mean, I, I I don't know anything about technology. Well, I know a little bit. I'm not, but I know. I know my fair share, but I don't know any of this stuff or like how to edit videos like he does. He does a great job at them, and it's just, it's me sort of focusing and us just getting our feet wet really into yeah. this. I mean, we're getting there. It'll it'll eventually get a lot better than what it is. Yes, it will. Yeah. Well, I think that's going to be all for tonight. Um, so next week we are not going to go playing. I will be out of town. So um, just wait until the week after. We will be going back and playing and stay consistent week upon week on the video. So, for now, just remember to like, share, and subscribe. And